So here we are at the Moodle for the Avalon Acting and Model Assembly, Modeling Center LMS. And um, I'm actually uh, logged in in the default administrative account. And I'm going to come over here and I want to show you how to go ahead and add PayPal as an enrollment method. Um, the, the one enrollment method is um, always allowed, which is manual enrollment, which means a, a teacher or a, 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 or a system administrator must actually um, enroll that individual. But that's uh, that's not very useful. People, once you've given people an account um, in the in Moodle here, you would want them to be able to enroll for courses and then to also be able to pay for them online. So. Here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go into the Spring Brink Camp course. Okay? And now, once I'm already in, once I'm in the course, I'm going to come over here to underneath settings. I'm going to come to users and I'm going to expand that. And then I'm going to come down here and click enrollment methods. And as you see, I only have one enrollment method, which is manual enrollment. So I actually want to add one and I'm going to add PayPal. And it says custom instance name and I'm just going to say, um, Spring Break Camp PayPal. So, allow PayPal enrollments. You want to click yes. Enroll cost, and that would be one hundred and ninety-five dollars in U.S. dollars. You want to make sure that this is assigned as a student. Okay. Now you can give enrollment duration in days. You can also give a start date and an end date. You can specify um, all of those in there. Okay. Um, it's, it's not required that you do so for this plugin to work, but you can do so if you want to. And that what that does is um, you can either say from this point on um, blank days, you know, um, you're able to enroll or um, starting this date and ending this date, people are able to enroll. So that's what that is. Um, so if you wanted to block enrollment after a certain time, um, you would be able to do that simply by giving it a start date and end date or simply just a duration from the time of its creation is what it is. So, but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to go ahead and click add method and you're welcome to come back in and, and edit that at any point in time and you'll see um, spring break camp PayPal and now I'm gonna move this method up because it's all the way down here at the bottom and none of the others are really relevant we're not using any of those at this time so here it is now we went ahead and moved it up now I just want to show you you can come right over here and click on this and this will edit it and this will take you right back to that editing screen so that if you wanted to you could go ahead and enable these and, and edit that and then just save the changes and now when we come back out to home. Now you're going to see we have this little symbol underneath here and it says PayPal. And now when people are logged into the system and they decide to enroll in this course, now they'll be given the option to go ahead and pay for it um, via PayPal online. So that is how you add the uh, PayPal, uh, the ability for people to uh, pay with PayPal uh, to a course. If you have any further questions or want any more clarification on it, please let me know. We're going to be finishing up over the next couple of days, we're going to be finishing up uh, quite a few more training videos uh, for the Avalon Acting and Model Center as well as the lessonfactory.com.